Hey everyone, Vinayak here. Are you using a streaming stick or a smart TV and you're typing in a search keyword using a standard remote? It's quite annoying and not accurate. So is there a way to make typing on your streaming devices easier? Let's check this device out. There are tons of wireless keyboards available and I've reviewed a few, but they generally don't fit in with the living room decor and some, even if they do, don't function like a remote, making you to use two devices. So here's the Air Mouse with a keyboard, which is generic. There are tons available on Amazon. I'll link the one that I'm using in the description below. What I really liked about this device is the form factor and can be used with Android TV, mini PCs, smart TVs and more. In the box, we have the air mouse. We have a thank you note and an instruction manual too. This is the 2.4 GHz receiver. The remote doesn't use Bluetooth and requires the receiver to work. So not all devices are supported, but there is a workaround for using it with a Fire TV, which I will show in a bit. Here's the micro USB cable for charging the remote. It's nice that the remote has a rechargeable battery within. This is the remote with the standard power button, navigation keys, volume control and other smart TV specific uh, buttons. Turn it over and we have the keyboard. Nice rubbery keys with a slight spacing between them to easily find each key. The navigation buttons are housed within a brushed aluminium texture border. That's plastic too, but the two-tone color looks really nice. The buttons are power, air mouse toggle, home, options and the back button and you have these navigation buttons with the OK button in the middle. The top of this remote is shiny and is a fingerprint magnet. Just look at the brushed aluminium look and the separator nubs indicate the sections if you were using the remote in the dark. So let's check out how it works. Just plug in the receiver into my Mi Smart TV and the remote starts working instantly. I have the air mouse when necessary. The air mouse is also quite smooth. Tap on the button to toggle it on and off. As you move your hand, a cursor moves on screen. Cool. So move left, right, up and down and even diagonally, it works really well. Move the cursor over an item and tap OK to select it. If you want to use the navigation keys instead, just toggle the air mouse off and continue. The air mouse removes the necessity to use a mouse pad and you can easily control the device from a distance. The volume up and down function also works with the Mi TV, which is also helpful as you can use this device as a complete replacement for the standard remote. To use the keyboard, just turn the remote around and type. It's always active and accessible. Just make sure to select the search box before typing. Speed of typing is fine, not the fastest, but still better than using the standard remote. The characters in blue can be typed in only after toggling using the function key. Tap again to disable the function key. The Mi TV comes with two interfaces, the patch wall and Android TV home. When using the home button, uh, the TV displays the Android TV home page. We can access patch wall using the button on screen, but it is something to note. I have heard that the device does not work on some smart TV, so make sure before you buy this. Now for the Amazon Fire TV. Here it gets a bit tricky, but not much. You need to purchase this Y cable, which allows connecting the remote's uh, receiver to the Fire TV while powering it. Once you do that, the remote works well. Everything is working fine and you can use the air mouse feature too, but I found that the air mouse only worked within YouTube, not on the main interface. The keyboard also works as expected everywhere. The air mouse also works with PCs, just connect it to a USB port and it's ready to use. You can use the air mouse feature, the keyboard, and this would be great as a wireless presenter and allows you to navigate your PowerPoint slides from a distance. Do understand that the device doesn't use Bluetooth and needs a receiver to work. The keyboard is responsive, but you're not going to break any typing records with this and working for long hours in the office is not recommended. The remote works as a great replacement for your remotes with all standard functionality that you have for your Android TV and your smart TVs. And it has a keyboard to boot, which is great. The device is easy to use, just plug and play, so no drivers to install, it just works. So that was the video, make sure to like, subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.